Hello everyone, this is Suzette for Cloudy Sky Today. Today we are going to look at some text messages. So, you know, you call it spam IMs, otherwise known as spam. The first one I got recently is this one that says, Great news Arturo. My name is not Arturo, like I introduced myself. My name is Suzette. Your Walmart package is out for delivery and should arrive today. Track, and they give you a tracking number, reply, help for info, stop to out, out. Now I'm gonna use my Firefox browser and I'm actually gonna copy this. And it comes from one of those 61746 and if you ever got um, delivery from Walmart before, it does look authentic. So we're gonna actually throw it in something and check it out, like I said, Firefox. So here I am in Firefox. I'm going to put it in the browse bar and tell it to go. It actually is coming from walmart.com. So this is actually authentic. Now why am I getting Arturo's delivery? I am not sure. But this is pretty interesting that this one is for real and that was just a shortened URL sometimes you know lately they've been telling you don't click on links in um, IMs because they could also be spam so let's go to the next message so the next one says hello there now I've been getting a couple of these from random numbers so let's use reverse lookup and check out this number and see what we can learn. So I'm going to come back over here to my browser, go to reverse lookup. I don't want to receive any updates, but we're going to put the number in here and see what we can learn about this number. You know, these are tools free, readily available that we can all use. It's a voice over IP number. So more than likely it's spoof. And by mean spoof is they're not using their real number. They're using a computer and they're probably just using that number for the header, hoping that you'll answer back, pick up, confirm that you're a person and who knows what goes next. So I would definitely say block this. Let's move on to the next message. Now this message is Maybe it's marketing because it says Ash from Go Logo Designs. Are you looking for professional logo designs or professional digital service? If you're interested, reply yes, logo or stop button. So we can do two things. Let's look up Go Logo Designs and see if that number matches. So come back over here to my Firefox and what we said it was Go Logo Designs. Well, it seems like it is. Let's look on there about. Now, I've never done business with this company, so I have no idea how they got my information. But obviously, well, they could have used freelancer, I guess. But their telephone number listed there is a 213 number and the telephone number that I have is a 925-578 number. Let's see what area code is 925. Oh, let's open up another window so that we have that window. What area code is 925? So according to this, some place in Northern California, and according to this website, 213. So let's look up 213. You know, if you in uh, close enough, the boat in California, maybe it was an employee. Maybe they um, found my number somewhere, but okay, moving on. So the next one says, your package is on hold at the post office due to an incorrect address. Please modify your address and try to deliver again. And of course, well, this one shows us, this is not a shortened URL. So this one is saying us slash locks.top. 
I'm not even going to research that because I'm on my real computer, not a virtual machine. And I look a bit afraid. But I can tell if you want to know what U.S. hold statements from the post office. Let's look up if they have in a U.S. whole tech scam. Yes. Now, this is from the United States Postal Inspection Service.gov. Have you received unsealed in the mobile test with an unfamiliar or strange web link that indicates a USPS requires a response? And also, you saw below real quick that the BBB is warning customers. And this was updated on 126.23. Now, if you look real quick, if you signed up for a USPS tracking request for a specific package, then don't click the link. This type of text message is a scam called smishing. It's a form of phishing that involves a text message or phone number. Victims would typically receive a deceptive text message and it it's intended to lure the recipient into providing a personal or financial information. In this case, you know, they're talking about disguise themselves. They're trying to disguise themselves as a USPS. And here they tell you they utilize the sharp di digit, five digit short codes like we saw in the Walmart one to send and receive SMS to one from mobile phones. So this is what the criminals are looking for your personable, personally identifiable information, or PII for short. They want your account, usernames and passwords, social, date of birth, credit and debit card numbers, etc. So advice, if you're gonna, if you think you have a package that you need to be tracked, go straight to the postal service site and track it that way. Because if you didn't initiate, and this is important, if you didn't initiate a tracking request for a specific package, don't click the link. Very important. You notice how they bold it. Don't click the link. And of course, they ask you to report it. So we can see, and I could tell from the domain, it doesn't have .gov doesn't have UPS in the domain name, that this is not from the Postal Service. I'll report it later after the video. Now here's another one. This one is supposed to be from Amazon. And it says, we have missing with your billing. It's not even proper grammar. We have missing with your billing account. Please review. And then they give you resolve problems, confirm dot LOL. It's almost like they're laughing at you, right? So again, you can look at the domain. It's not a shortened link and see that. And you can even see where it says support Amazon at deprive. Oh, come on. If it was from Amazon, it would be at amazon.com and they also use that. Let's go back to the Walmart example. Oh, wrong one is the first one. They also use that shortened SMS messaging thing, as you can see. The five digit, pardon me, not shortened, five digit SMS. So let's go to that one we just saw. Yeah. So, you know, you can pretty much tell that this is a scam. It's at deprive. Oh, yeah, there it is, at deprive.com. I mean, it's truly deprived to be um, sending out these text messages, hoping for people to click on the link and then stealing their information. So be careful out there. You know, you got email scams. You got text messages scams. You just got to be alert when you're answering these things. You don't recognize the number. You know, take a good look at the message. Don't just click on links. If you enjoy this content and would like to see more, please subscribe. You know, give this video a like. And here are some places you can follow me. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Suzette Dawes, or you can follow me right here. Again, subscribe. Love to hear from you. Leave your comments below. Thank you.